Hello Form A, this is a tutorial on how to do the Minecraft party glasses on Tinkercad. You first start here in Classwork on uh, in my Google Classroom, and then you click on Classwork, scroll down to the assignment, and there is Tinkercad Minecraft party glasses. Click on it, and then you can click on Learn how to use the Tinkercad link, and it should take you to the Minecraft party glasses lesson. Let's get this party started with a pair of Minecraft party glasses. And then here it says start, and so we can click on the start button. And your screen, you should start off having these two nose pieces as well as the two uh, stems um, that make up the glasses part. And you're going to be building the frames um, aspect. If your video, if your Tinkercad does not have these uh, things onto it, you're going to need to restart your lesson uh, and go from there. But let's start here. In this lesson, you'll learn how to design a cool pair of party glasses. So we hit next. And so it says, first, start by dragging a box shape to the work plane. You can find the box shape in the panel on the right side of the screen. So I'm going to take my box. And I'm going to put it right there into the screen. And I'm going to hit next. Scale it smaller to a height of five meter millimeters tall and a size it to six by six millimeters. So to change the height of it, I grab this top one here and I can bring it down to a height of five. You can also just type in here five and that will make it like that. And then to change the dimensions like this, I click on one of the corners and then I can change this to six. And I can then change this also to six. Now I've got a six by six square that is five millimeters tall. And it seems like they want it to be in that orange box there. Okay. You can adjust the snap grid to locate the lower right corner of the editor from one to 0.5. So the snap grid is down here and I can adjust this to make it to 0.5. Here we go. We're going to choose then next. Now drag the box to the area outlined in orange. Copy and paste the box to fill in the rest of the outlined areas. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, move myself over, and then I'm going to take my box and I'm going to place it right in there. All right. Now they say to copy and paste, so I can hit if you're on a Mac, it's Command-C. If you're on a PC or Chromebook, it's Control-C. So I copy, and then I do Command-V or Control-V, and then I paste. And I'm just going to use the arrow keys to move things down. So now I've got two in place. Now, if I want to be clever about this, I'm going to select both of these. So now I have both of those and I'm going to copy both of those and paste both of those. And now I can move two at a time. Ah, clever, Mr. Miller. And it looks like I've got them nicely lined up. And then I just need to copy one more and paste it. And again, I'm using the arrow keys to move it around. Um, and make sure that they are lined up as best as possible. Okay. Now we're going to choose next. It says scale it to 22 meters long to fill the area outlined in orange. So we're going to scale this. And again, if you want to, you can, you can drag it like this, which is fine. Or if you want to, you can just type it in here, 24, and it'll fill it in accordingly. Okay. Then we hit next, copy and paste the long ones to the outlined areas. So we have four spaces there. So I'm going to copy and paste, and bring it up there to the top. And then if I want to, I can hold shift and this one as well. So I just have those two, copy and paste. And now I've got these two and I can just bring them over. And I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to do this. Just keeps things nicely aligned accordingly. 
I know some of you might worry that you want to get it exactly into the orange boxes. They are just a guideline for you, and getting them close is perfectly fine. All right. Then we can hit next once we've got our four in there. And now they want us to fill in uh, the remaining outlined areas. And again, we are going to be smart about this. We've already done it once. And so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to, there are a couple instances where I need four. I need four here, I need four there, I need four here, and I need four there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose each of these four blocks, okay? I'm going to hit Command C and Command V. So now I have them like that. I'm gonna, I need to make sure I select them all. And it's gonna help me. See, I didn't even have that other one. So I'm gonna move that back. So I've got all four here. I'm gonna actually group them. So now they don't, they're, they move all as one. And you might notice, hey, that one's gonna fit pretty slick right into that one up there because it's the same angle, et cetera. So I've got it up on that top one, but now I'm gonna control copy and I've got another one here. What I can do with this is there's what is called the mirror tool. It's up here in the upper right-hand corner. So if I click on the mirror tool, I can say, I wanna mirror it this way. So now I can put that one right in that location and then I can copy and paste and now I can move it down into this location. So again, I'm using the copy and paste to make my life a whole lot easier as well as using the mirror tool to flip things accordingly. Now these have three accordingly, one, two, three, one, two, three. And so I'm going to just copy three of these together copy and paste. Oop, didn't have that middle one. I'm going to try hold shift and grab those three. Control paste. And again, I'm going to group them so that I don't, when dragging, I don't mess up. So that one's going to fit right into there. And then I'm going to do control C, control V, and copy and paste again. And that one can go down here. And I can control copy, control paste. Oops. I need to move it out of the way so I can see it. And again, I'm going to mirror image it and I'm going to mirror it that way. So then I can drag it and put it into this one. And then I can do control, copy, control, paste, and move this one up to here. Okay. And I want to say next, oop, I didn't, I need to go back. So then I have to put in pieces uh, into here. And so I'm going to grab my individual blocks and copy it, paste it. Move it using the arrow keys so it can get out of the way, so I can grab it a little bit easier. And there, I need to put one block in that space. And I'm going to copy and paste that one. Move it over there. Copy and paste this one. And this one just needs to be stretched over looks like probably 12 across okay and then i'm going to grab another one of these and copy and paste it it needs to fit on here and i'm grabbing this little tiny black square and stretch it that way and it needs to be 18 tall copy and paste and bring it across over the location Again, I'm utilizing copy and paste as well as the mirror to fill in my party glasses. 
It says then select all objects, group them together by it. So the best way to group all these is I kind of zoom out and then I'm just gonna draw, drag a imaginary square around everything. I'm using the left mouse button to do that. And what that does is it selects everything into it. So again, I'm just drawing a big rectangle over everything that I want. And now that selects everything. And then I go up here to the group button, select group. And so now I've got these nice Minecraft party glasses. I choose next and party on. We have completed our task.